Hello to all my YouTube subscribers, those that are old and those that are new. Thank you for subscribing to my page. Thank you for vi viewing my videos. And thank you for leaving respectful comments. I just want to tap in with you guys and let you guys know I'm doing okay. And I wish you guys a happy holiday. And also for you guys to be safe out there with this coronavirus going on. Remember to wear your mask. Stay six feet apart from people that you don't know. And just try to, you know, do your best to keep your hands washed and to use hand sanitizer and 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 and, and watch your surroundings. Um, with that being said, you guys, like I said, I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you guys know I'm doing okay and see how you guys are doing. I'm thinking about going live in a minute. But at the same time, I also want to um, just, uh, you know, uh, just talk right quick about, and, and I'm I'm going to probably go live and talk about it, about, you know, when you want to help someone, um, I know it's a lot of scammers out there. It's a lot of people out there that, um, you know, try to, excuse me, come on people page to get money and, uh, you know, um, work, work us and work the system. And I mean, you know, we have people out there that, that, that intentions is always, you know, uh, uh, to use someone or to get over on someone. And sometimes that's the chance that we take in this world. But the thing is, when you do something from your heart, you do it. And you hope and pray that the people that you're doing it for um, is not lying and that they mean well. But one thing you're supposed to say to yourself at the end of the day just because people send proof of they have kids and that they, they, they can't pay their rent or be all that stuff can be made up. Trust me, criminal criminals know how to get other people's kids and do all this stuff. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's either you're going to help them or you're not. Because what you're supposed to say at the end of the day is if they was telling the truth, if they wasn't, all I know is I did my part as someone that's trying to help the community or someone that's trying to help people, kids for Christmas. I'm not going to send people through all this crazy madness about sending your kids uh, uh, birthdays, how long you've been had them, um, uh, why you ain't got no money. It, you know, when people do adopt the families, when white folks do adopt the families, they don't send you through all that. All they do is ask about what was it that you were going to try to get the kids their ages, and they bomb something. They can care less about your financial situation. They can care less about if you're on drugs. They can care less about if you're trying to mess with the system or if you're trying to get over our people. Their heart is to help someone. And at the end of the day, if you sell it after they give it to you, they don't care. All they know is they want to adopt a couple of families, and that's what they do, and they buy from gifts to toys to clothes to food my sister deal with adopt a family in sacramento and they bought her whole christmas dinner and each one of her kids got like six gifts and every year i don't know if she's on it this year but every year someone adopted her and they didn't ask nothing about, you know, if you had a husband or if you had a man or uh, 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 if you was on SSI. They ain't ask none of that. All you do is put your name on the list. And I think sometimes you could do it through um, through uh, the welfare office. And then they got other organizations. Someone will reach out to you that want to adopt you and they'll ask you how old are your kids sometimes you know if you want to talk to them about your situation you can but how old are your kids uh where do you live because they have to drop it off to you and um do you have a a, a a list of your dinners the dinner you want to cook for christmas and they tell you to uh, uh, email it to them and email all the ages of your kids and what do they like. And once you do that with your address, they let you know when they will be delivering it. And they deliver it. And sometimes they even bring a tree, ornaments and everything. I was there one time about eight years ago when a lady came with my, for my dad, adopted my sister. And if I tell you. I was like, is they ever going to stop coming in the door with stuff? 
I think it took the people like 45 minutes to get all that stuff in the house. So, you know, I just, <laughs> I just be, you know, sometimes tuning in to certain things and I just listen to certain, a certain individual and I'm just like, if you're going to help somebody, help them. It shouldn't matter if their husband is on drugs. It shouldn't matter if they on drugs. It shouldn't matter if they lying about they, their kids. It shouldn't even matter if you're going to help somebody, help them. And leave it at that. And just know that you did something from your heart and God will bless you. You know, and, and just leave it at that. Just don't give people a hard time. They're going through a hard time as it is. If you want to adopt somebody, adopt them. And leave it at that. So with that being said, you know, I just wanted to bring that up. But at the same time, you guys, I'm um, thinking about going live right quick just to see who come on and who I can interact with because I've met some really nice people since this page has been up and running. And just, you know, just talk and chat for a little while and learn how to interact with you guys uh, when you're typing. Because remember, uh, well, you guys know, but... Um, you know, it's it's a, a typing thing, you know, where you guys are sending messages, so I have to read them. And the last time I went, I think I only had like five people that came on, but I have a lot more subscribe of uh, people that subscribed to my page so far. So um, it's up there a little bit. So I'm going to go live in about 10 minutes. So if you guys see this video, come on over. I'll try to be on there for a good 15, 20 minutes just to see who come on and, 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 um, respond to whatever they, you know, talking about and see if we can get a conversation going. If not, I'll keep trying until you guys all can, you know, um, get on over there to talk to me. At the same time, I, I had someone that was going to start doing the videos with me, um, uh, but something came up in their family and so they had to, um, deal with that. But I got my brother now, so I will be bringing Starting next year, you got some funny stuff. Trust me, I'm starting to go down to the hood um, where I used to be at and hang at and things of that sort. And so um, I got some good shit for you guys that's coming up starting the next year. That's my goal is to just, you know, go out with a bang on these videos. But at the same time, my son, uh, you know, he's like, Mom, you only see other rap people that rap mom on YouTube doing videos. And I'm like, boy, leave me alone. I'm doing what I want to do. At the same time, you right, you don't. But I'm quite sure, you know, every now and then, they, they doing something other than spending y'all money. But, so with that being said, it's like, um, no, nah, but, you know, they, they always encourage me to do what I want to do. You know, as long as I don't have problems with people, I'm good. So, you guys, have a blessed night. And once again... Thank you for subscribing to my page. If you haven't hit that notification bell, go hold, go ahead on and hit that notifica notification bell so you always know when I upload. And God bless you all. Hope to see you guys over there on live.